We were made by God to move. And if we don't move, then our bodies don't work the way they were meant to work. And of course, uh, in, in the past, before we had cars and planes and trains and automobiles, and before everybody sat at a, at a desk, uh, if you were doing farm work, things like that, you got all the movement you needed. You got all the sun you needed, you got all the movement, and you got the vitamin D, all these kind of things like that. We find libido going down, interest going down, and things like this. It's interesting, the more the world talks about sex, it seems the less there is taking place in marriage. And one of the reasons are the physical causes. Talk about that. Uh, Daniel? Well, in part, it's about blood flow. Mm -hmm. You know, I often say whatever's good for your heart is good for your brain because it's all about blood flow. Mm -hmm. And then I wrote a book called The Brain and Love, and I realized whatever's good for your heart is good for your brain is good for your genitals. It's all about <laughs> blood flow. And so well, if, you, if you're doing things to damage mm -hmm. your blood vessels, inflammation, mm -hmm. overweight, low testosterone, mm -hmm. you are not going to have that vitality. Mm -hmm. And then you end up looking at porn mm -hmm. to just try to... Feel Excite yourself. Normal. Yeah. Men who have sex mm -hmm. three times a week decrease their risk of heart attack and stroke by 50%. We have no medicine that That's can do that. That's statistic every, every man in the world wants to be, be able to be, quote. <laughs> Exercise has antidepressant effects. So there is a study that compared Zoloft, a really good antidepressant, mm -hmm. with walking like you're late, four times a week. At the end of 12 weeks, they're equally effective. Mm -hmm. At the end of 10 months, exercise is more effective than the antidepressant. So I'm just a huge believer. It also increases a chemical in your brain called BDNF, brain-derived neurotrophic factor, that helps make new cells and helps with memory and learning. One of the things I do is I, ha I have four different kinds of exercise I use so I don't get bored, because I get bored real quickly. If I did the same thing every day, I, you know, I'd, I'd hate yeah. it. Uh, one of them is, uh, is hiking. It's, it's, a, it's, it's walking at a fast pace. It's not running. I don't run, but we walk, and I, and I hike up not just straight things. I find things that go up and down, up and down. So uh, the second thing is I have a, I have a swim workout, and I, I get in my pool, and I actually do some workouts sure. with some weights and swimming. That's really good on joints, sure. especially the older you get. You know, you're not tearing. So I do a swim workout. Third is a, a, a gym workout. It's a lifting weight kind of thing. It's a, a strengthening thing that I do, and I, I enjoy that. And then the fourth one is a treadmill. And the treadmill is one that I'll put on my iPod, and I listen to godly messages and sermons, and, and, and I've got my dictaphone right there, and I'm taking notes while I'm talking. But the stronger you are as you age, the less likely you are to get Alzheimer's disease, which is expected wow. to triple in the next 25 years. Mm -hmm. So the, the workout is mm -hmm. perfect. He likes it, it's, it's variable, mm -hmm. but he's boosting blood flow to his brain. Mm -hmm. And the weight training is also boosting testosterone. Yeah. So his energy, memory, libido are all yeah. where they should be. Yeah.